BP drilled the Macondo well in over 5,000 feet of water. At these water depths, drillers can no longer use rigs that rest directly on the ocean floor. Instead, they use rigs that float on the surface. The Deepwater Horizon was a dynamically positioned rig. Its crew used satellite-based positioning technology to ensure that the rig stayed in position over the Macondo well. Sophisticated computers on the rig computed the rig's position based on the satellite signals and used that information to control powerful directional thrusters. These thrusters held the rig in place while it was drilling and could also move the rig from one job to another. The rig was connected to the well below by a steel riser pipe that was over 20 inches in diameter. The riser was the umbilical cord between the rig and the wellhead. The riser stretched nearly a mile down through the waters of the Gulf. As water depth increases, pressure rises and temperature decreases. Sunlight begins to fade. The conditions at the seafloor were completely different than at the surface. It was perpetually dark. The pressures were intense, over 2,000 pounds per square inch, and the temperatures were cold, approximately 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The riser connected to the Deepwater Horizons Blowout Preventer, or BOP, shown here in yellow. The blowout preventer, in turn, was attached to the wellhead, shown here in blue. The wellhead at the seafloor was the mechanical connection to the Macondo well itself. That well was lined with steel casing strings that reinforced and sealed the well bore. From its start at the wellhead, over 5,000 feet below the surface of the Gulf, the Macondo well stretched over 13,000 feet down into the ocean floor and the geologic formations below. The rig crew drilled through miles of rock and sediments to reach the oil below. As they progressed, they set additional casing strings to reinforce the well each smaller in diameter than the one before. The well bore thus decreased from a starting diameter of 36 inches down to a final diameter of only 8 inches. As the crew progressed deeper into the earth, the miles of rock and seawater above exerted more and more pressure. The temperature also increased. By the time the Deepwater Horizons crew began drilling through hydrocarbon bearing rocks, shown here in yellow, the pressures were over 12,000 psi, and the temperatures were over 150 degrees Fahrenheit. At the bottom of the last casing string was the shoe track, and finally the reamer shoe at the end of the final string of casing. It was almost three and a half miles from the pay sands at the bottom of the Macondo well to the Deepwater Horizons rig floor.